In this video, we will take a look at a couple of methods on how we can selectively increase the brightness and saturation based on color. The first very common method is using an HSL adjustment. Let's start by adding our HSL adjustment from the toolbar in the channels panel. The HSL adjustment in Affinity allows us to select the color range and change the luminosity. In normal blend mode, the luminosity slider will quickly make the color go to black or white. However, we can turn on the HSV checkbox and now we get a much better result. Let's turn off the HSV checkbox and set the blend mode of the HSL adjustment to luminosity. This will usually get much better results as you can see. If we want to modify the saturation, we should set the blend mode of the HSL adjustment to saturation and use the saturation slider this time. When increasing saturation, turning on the HSV checkbox mostly gets more natural results. The color will not oversaturate. But again, it really depends on your image and how saturated you want your colors to be. With the HSV turned off, you will get more saturated colors. Another way of increasing brightness and saturation of a color range in a subtle way is to use the selective color adjustment. Select the color range and adjust the black slider. This will make the color more or less saturated. When we set the blend mode of the adjustment to luminosity, we can now control the lightness, making the color lighter or darker. By the way, we could also use a brightness and contrast adjustment together with a vibrance adjustment to control brightness and saturation of a color range. I'll add them to the document and group them. In order to have them apply selectively, I can add a hue range mask to the group by holding the Alt or Option key while creating a mask and then selecting the hue range from the pop-up menu. The hue range mask does not have predefined color ranges, but I can use the color picker to select my color range. We can turn on the preview to see what is being selected. Perfect. Let's close this dialog and go to the adjustments in the group to adjust the brightness and saturation. From my personal experience, this works for very subtle changes. If you go too far with the sliders, the results will not be as good as the previous two methods. Let's switch to a problematic document. Initially, this looks fine and let's use the HSL method to make the background darker. I'll add the HSL adjustment, put it to luminosity blend mode, select the color and decrease the luminosity as we did before. Well, that looks awful. This brings us to the next method, which is not very ideal for common photos, but works quite well for these kind of images with a predominant background color. I'll add a new fill layer and set its color to 50% gray. Next, we can apply a hue range mask as before to the fill layer we just added. I'll move the color wheel to get the background selected. Awesome! As you can see, this is also a great way to change the background color. Anyway, let's change the blend mode of the fill layer to luminosity. By changing the color of the fill layer, we can now adjust the lightness of the background. By also adjusting the opacity of the fill layer, we get a pretty decent result. If we change the blend mode of the fill layer to saturation, we can now also control the saturation. Pretty cool. Here is the final method I sometimes use, which also works pretty well in these cases. I'm going to add a levels adjustment and set its mode to lab. I'll use the hue range mask we used earlier and move it to the levels adjustment. Now, if we switch to lightness in the levels adjustment and adjust the output black level, we can make the background lighter or we can use the output white level slider to make it darker. Pretty awesome. Hope you liked this video and learned something new today. Thanks again for tuning in and until the next video.